Hey YouTube, what's up? Thanks for tuning in. Some days ago I received my Dumbo RC or Dumbo RC X6P. That's this Dumbo RC 6 channel radio that comes with the two push buttons on the top instead of the knobs you had to turn in all the other 6 channel Dumbo Dumbo RC models and they are meant to switch differential sticks or two-speed gearing or whatever and it comes with a light controller with a receiver with integrated light controller so that's the super duper super cheap uh, radio with light controller with gyro integrated or not honestly I did not know I didn't find a lot about the P the X6P I found a video of Richie Driftomaniac's channel and he showed this and told wow light controller and gyro and but he didn't really take a deep look inside and I didn't know what I really will get why did I buy this Dumbo RC I normally like my Lameboys RC light controllers I do already have a Dumbo X4 I love my 8 channel Flysky GT3C and uh, also have a Flysky Noble but we had a discussion in a forum about a receiver in a ready to run model that had an integrated light switch so this was a receiver similar to this Dumbo RC receiver and this type of receiver is also shown on the website of Banggood where I bought the model so it was not clear what I will get you see there are pictures showing this receiver and then there were other pictures showing this type of receiver which I finally received I bought it only because I wanted a receiver like this and we wanted to see how is the board uh, how does this work so one of those pin ropes I guess it was channel 4 was able to switch light on off I didn't get this receiver even if it was shown on the Banggood website I received that receiver I complained and Banggood will sell me this receiver with integrated light controller for free now I do like their customer service I know a lot of people complain I cannot complain and however I received this now so that's everything I received it came in this box packed as always with foam inside I received this receiver it has six normal channels on the right side you can plug your three pin servo plugs in here and it has uh, six double pins where you can plug in LED lights and of course it came with a manual we are a manual for the receiver and the normal Dumbo RC uh, manual what you can also find on the website and so I tested it out and I tell you it's quite complicated if you think that's the perfect radio for you please watch this video first it could be the perfect radio for you but maybe it's not for me it's not the perfect radio I can tell you already now but uh, it's really rather complicated where did we find this receiver with integrated light switch it was in a ready-to-run model here in Europe or at least in German speaking Europe there are a lot of ready-to-run models of Amevi uh, the, which come with Dumbo RC style radios uh, and those Dumbo RC radios are already sold under many different names so they are super popular and one of those models had this receiver where the pilot could switch on and off the headlights using channel 4 there are many further models here that come with those Dumbo RC style uh, radios now they are also sold here and what's quite popular as Absima the Absima CR6S is probably the same radio as the Dumbo RC X6P this one also has these push buttons here and popular models like uh, the Amevi AMX Rock RCX 10P which can uh, has two speed and you can unlock unlock differentials that's the 
iIcon, what is sold as iIcon in China or wherever. Here it is sold by Amevi brand. It's similar to the TRX4, which also is able to shift gears and uh, sh uh, lock unlock differentials. And for those models, I think these radios are meant for the new XL SCX103, uh, where you have uh, you can shift gears and uh, you have a tick which you can lock unlock. And the this six channel Dumbo RC. X6P is probably meant for those types of uh, trucks which can uh, shift gears and lock unlock differentials as the TRX4 or the Amevi AMX Rock or the new XL SCX103 which can you uh, has a TIG you need one channel in the servo for the TIG and also has a two speed transmission so probably should work fine with those however Dumbo RC, Dumbo RC radios are really cheap and uh, people who buy trucks for 500 bucks or more maybe mostly will buy also more expensive radios but who knows but you also have to take care prices of the Dumbo RC, Dumbo RC radios increased a little bit in the last months and shipping is often not free anymore however this X6P is much more expensive than all the other Dumbo Dumbo RC radios that's 42 bucks without shipping I guess now of course you can use some points or coupons and all the other Dumbo RC 6 channel radios are still about only 30 bucks a little bit more a little bit less there are several types and the X4 I do also have a Dumbo X4 4 channel is 20 something I paid only 15 bucks for this about when did I buy it a year ago so all other Dumbo Dumbo RC radios are a maximum about 30 bucks and this one is 42 bucks so it's more than 10 dollars more expensive than all the other ones but you can buy this receiver with or without gyro function and with all the LEDs for about 10 bucks too so then you have two receivers so it's not really a good deal I only bought it because I wanted to see this receiver that type and I like testing and checking this stuff out first thing I want to know does this receiver have a gyro function what's quite nice with this new receiver it has push buttons and one of those push buttons you can use for binding so if you I power it up with my small lead power supply and if you push this button one time you see fast blinking and then you can bind it to any Dumbo Dumbo RC radio I can tell you already now this receiver also works with the Dumbo RC X4 with the 4 channel radio and all light functions also work with the X4 with the 4 channel radio. I will show it to you in the end of the video. However, after some seconds uh, the blinking stops. You have to switch on the radio then and then it will bind to the radio. It will not bind as those receivers to radio link radios. This receiver on the board is written even radio link but it will not bind to any radio link radio as radio link receivers will not bind to any Dumbo Dumbo RC radios. This has been answered by the radio link customer support. I asked this question in an RC groups thread and they thankfully answered. So, so now we know it. Even if there is radio link written on the board inside, it won't bind to a radio link radio and the radio link receiver will not bind to a Dumbo Dumbo RC radio. Some people bought radio link receivers here and now they can't use them with their Dumbo, Dumbo RC radios. One push button, the second push button. This push button on the upper side is uh, to change the LED mode. I will show this to you later. This push button is used on the bottom, is used as already shown. One push, then it's not, you use a fingernail. Now it's in binding mode and three times pushing changes the gyro mode. So 
let's switch it off again switch on my Dumbo RC Dumbo RC X6P switch it on again and you see servo is working and what does the gyro do if the receiver is shivering or whatever the servo should move because uh, the gyro would correct so obviously it's not in gyro mode now so I push this button three times now and you see I hope you could see it now it's red and the servo you heard a little bit a uh, short movement of the servo but still no movement so no gyro function uh, i will show this to you in front of the camera again and hope you can see it one two three and now it's again green led so is it in gyro mode Come on. No. No movement of the servo. And one, two, three. It's red again. So it's the other mode. Then this should be gyro mode. Does not seem so. Let's switch it off. Maybe it has to calibrate. And switch it on again. Servo works. But no gyro mode. So, this receiver does not have a gyro, or I did do something wrong. I don't know. There is uh, another function here with those push with this push button. If you push it two times, you get into the gyro program mode. But this, you didn't see anything, does not work. When the red light is on and now it's three so i'm in the other mode in the green mode again and now i push it two times did you see two times blinking and now you should be able to adjust the gyro but i do not know how why or where to do this on the radio or anywhere there is no manual so I don't know. Probably the green mode is the gyro mode. You see, two times blinking. I pushed the button two times, three times. Now it changed to the other mode, to the red mode. And if I push this button two times, nothing happens. So I don't know if Richie from Driftomaniac does have a different receiver or if he didn't test it. What I found on the pictures, this receiver shows a G for gyro here. And what do you see here? I took pictures. Here it's black. But this has only been made by a black marker. I did not do it. It arrived that way. So somebody in the company use the black marker and made a black dot here so you will not see the G anymore so probably this receiver doesn't have a gyro mode I wonder why this push button does have any function then but yeah there are many questions first question answered no gyro in this receiver that comes with the X6P. Or I did something wrong. Please, guys, tell me if I did something wrong. Tell me how to come into gyro mode. And now here's the receiver. See, still no lights. Plugged to the light plugs of the receiver as I would normally use it. So it has six channels. The transmitter has six channels. Channel 1 for steering. Channel 2 for throttle as always channel 3 is this push button channel 4 is this three position switch here and that's the only three position switch of the Dumbo RC X6 and we have those 
channel 5 and 6 two push buttons which work with the servos you will need for shifting. So how would I normally use such a receiver? On the push button here I would plug a light controller or a simple on off switch. Here I have a micro on off switch so for simply switching on and off, on and off lights or using a big one for a big light bar with extra power or one of those super cheapos with the blinking functions. However, if you use a on off switch on the receiver on this side, you have to use resistors for your LEDs. On the other side here, you will not have to use resistors because there is an LED controller in the receiver which controls the voltage. But if you use uh, LEDs on the normal servo side, you will have to use resistors to adjust the voltage. You can see this here. Those tiny knobs, I hope you can see it. That's the resistor in front of the LED. And let's check a LED without resistors, which come with light controllers. Compare those two. This one, the 3mm LED here, does not have a resistor, so it can't be plugged directly to a servo plug of a receiver. And those ones, those ones are from a WPL C34, I guess. They do have resistors, and if you get LEDs which should be plugged directly to your receiver, they always have those resistors, so the voltage will be adjusted. If I will plug those LEDs directly to this side or to the on-off switch, to the receiver-powered switch, radio control switch, it will receive the voltage that the receiver has and LEDs will burn. Red LEDs need 2 volts, about 2 volts, white LEDs, blue LEDs, about 3 volts, maybe a little bit more, but with 5 to 6 volts they will be destroyed. And the single 3 position switch is normally used to control a second speed controller for controlling a winch, as you can see here. And therefore you will need a 3 position switch, otherwise it will not work. You can use a tiny, super tiny ESC that's powered by the power of the receiver, but you can use any ESC. You can use a big one, you can use small ones which are not powered by the receiver, which need a battery be plugged to them. But if you use those, which also have a PC, you always will have to remove the red wire, the plus, from the servo plug because uh, your receiver gets normally the power from the main ESC that powers your motor. So if you plug those into the receiver and power them by whatever battery, remove the red wire before, only the red wire, then it will work, no problem. So only one three position switch what's a pity you will see this later when we come to the light functions of the receiver but there are more downsides here you have the two push buttons which control the servos which should shift whatever uh, differentials or two speed transmission but check this out and it's also written in the description they have reduced the way the servo can move. So the servo will only move, I guess, 38 degrees. And you are not able to adjust this. You can adjust channel 3 and 4 of the Dumbo RC transmitters by getting into the program mode. What's quite complicated, you have to read the manual. I never did it, but you cannot adjust anything on channel 5 and channel th 6. So if that's a big bummer or not, 
that's on you if your car and your shifting servos work with this and this amount of travel is fine then that's okay no problem but for me i never intended to use two shifting servos i intended to use maximum one shifting servo and i thought how cool is this we have two more push buttons so what can we do we can use many more on off switches to control lights light controllers whatever but because the way of the servo travel is reduced so much this signal and the way the signal shows the servo to go is not sufficient anymore to control a receiver powered on off switch and that's quite a bummer i will show this to you now I tested it with three uh, on-off switches, three different ones, but unfortunately it does not work. So check this tiny, come on, this tiny on-off switch I use normally in micro uh, models. Check it now. On, off, on, off, on, off, on, off, on, off, works. And now I will take it and plug it to channel 6 or 5 it doesn't matter and channel five, 6 is that one does not work anymore and none of those switches will work on channel 5 or 6 and what's even more a bummer if you do not have a three position switch for controlling for example your winch with a second ESC but only a push button there is a possibility there is this super small winch controller which will also be powered by the receiver but uh, it's not very strong of course it's more for smaller models and this can be controlled by a simple push button and I will show this to you now so I put it on channel 3 and connect it to the winch and this will be controlled by a push button it works a little bit strange so if you push it one time the winch goes to one direction next push stop next push the winch goes to the other direction stop other direction so it's a little bit strange of course by far not that comfortable as a normal winch controller and ESC but if you do not have a three position switch as in many of the small three channel radios if you only do have a push button you can control a winch that way unfortunately This will also not work on channel 5 and 6. I will show this to you now. To channel 6. Everything on, servo works and stop. So that's quite a bummer. You see, the signal is not strong enough to stop it or to control it, really. Check this out. No way. It went. I could now stop it, but no way of control. It seems to work again a little bit. And now let's plug it into channel 3 again. and everything again works so that's really a pity I hope the way the servos move 38 degrees are sufficient for most shifting work they are needed it's not a lot of way of travel 
and you cannot adjust or change it but it's really a pity those channels 5 and 6 cannot be used to switch on and off receiver switches so wow for me that's a no-go and only one three position switch you could tell now okay use this three position switch for your winch and then you are right but you did not yet see how the light controller of this ESC works and now I plugged the four pairs of LEDs that come with the set to the receiver the receiver has two light modes for the normal mode the white one would be on the first two pins black is always on the inside the red one on the second and third and fourth are for the first blue one and fifth or sixth are for the second blue pair and now let's see how this light controller works first we have a uh, turning lights and surprise surprise we have blue turning lights <laughs> that's a little bit strange I do not know any blue turning lights or any cars with blue turning lights I don't know if there's a region in the world where that's normal turning lights are always orange or yellow some parts of the world you can also use red ones but I never saw blue ones and I don't know if blue LEDs are cheaper than orange or red ones I don't know however you have those turning lights but they will always blink if you are turning the wheel on the transmitter so many people don't like this me not either if you are in the forest on the rocks and climbing or driving your truck and every time you turn the lights will go on and if you stop turning the turning lights will go off so therefore you will need a better light controller like the Lameboys RC who will not do this but what's quite cool with channel 3 the push button you can switch on hazard lights and switch them off again but there's the question why is this on channel 3 the push button because channel 4 the only three position switch we would need so urgently for a speed controller to control a winch this switch is on and off the main beam the headlights on the left side they are off and center and right position they are on and they say this light controller has brake lights and you see if you go throttle reverse the red lights will go on but uh, that's originally no brake lights those are reverse lights so not really brake lights but reverse lights you could probably also use white lights for those if you want but no real brake lights there are two more pins for hazard lights here I ask myself why not simply orange turning lights strange thing by the way there are always two plugs in parallel uh, for the right and left turning lights and you can plug two blue ones side by side this will work but it will not work with the orange one and the blue one because they need different voltages so reverse light switch on switch off main beam and hazard lights ah, work okay and then there is a second light mode and you can change the light mode here on the push button on the upper side and if you push this simply that's a kind of channel 2 reverse 
now the red lights here, the brake lights, won't be turned on if you go to reverse but to front. And what's the sense of this? Normally you would say if you want the car only turning on its headlights when it's running and then go off if it's stopping or if it stops you could use this mode but I don't like this mode at all. There are quite a lot of ready to run cars coming with this mode so if the car stops stand still no light and if you push throttle there is light and you can switch it back and now we are in whatever normal mode so I can switch on the main lights again but I have to change the here and where's the red one So we can switch on off lights, we can switch on hazard lights and that's my main question then. Why do they have to make the switch on off for the main lights to the only three position switch and the hazard light stuff to the push button? There are not so many cars using hazard lights, turning lights because many people don't like it even more if it's as it is here the blinkers are always working if you are turning so if they would have put the on off switch for the main beams to the push button this would be much better and the three, three position switch for the hazard lights and many people won't use turning lights so won't use and have hazard lights and could use this for a winch control but no they had to do it that way and also these kinds of brake lights these are red lights so it's reverse lights you should probably make them white or if you want those maybe install additional red LEDs as normal lights but this won't work either because you can't plug red and white LEDs in parallel so I can show you this also now let's use a Y cable and plug in main that way the main lights so we can switch on off main lights again but we couldn't use a second pair of LEDs that are not white those are red LEDs and you will see what happens now come on okay so check this out now the red LEDs will work but the white ones not the white ones need 3 volt and the red ones 2 volt so unfortunately it's not possible simply to plug red and white LEDs in parallel rear lights red and front main beams in white and switch on off the light that way and you see the reds are gone and the whites work again so not really happy with this really really not happy with this what's quite funny the channels 3 and 4 will still work even if the light controller is doing its job therefore to show you this I will plug simply two servos to channel 3 and channel 4 
and check it. You see, I switch on off the main lights and channel 4 also controls this servo and the push button hazard lights and servo hazard lights and servo hazard lights and servo quite a funny thing but that doesn't help a lot because you would have to have the three position switch always in center position for your winch in neutral position and if you, when you switch off the lights the winch will go to one direction and then it will go to the other direction so you lose the on off function of your lights and of the light controller and I will show you now that the receiver and the light functions also work with the Dumbo X4 I do have therefore here my Dumbo X4 only four channels and I will switch on the receiver first and go to binding mode am I on the right direction? Yeah. No, it, okay. One, one push for binding seems not to work if the lights are on. Now it's in binding mode and now it's bound and now I will plug in again the lights. Does it really not work if the lights are on? I'm not sure about this. Okay, everything plugged in and switch on off works, seems to work in the other direction here. So and hazard lights work and reverse lights work too. So you can use your Dumbo Dumbo X4 for controlling all the light functions of this receiver which you can buy also separately. Do not have to buy it necessarily with this Dumbo X6P. And I will also show you because this receiver is now bound to the X4. I will switch it off and I will switch it off, switch on my X6 again and switch on the receiver and you see it does not work, what's really good you have with some receivers of DAS Micro you have those troubles that they will bind to the other transmitter then with this auto bind function but here that's safe, no problem and control it with the X4 again everything fine and now I also plugged this receiver X6F to a small speed controller and a servo and you see you can control two receivers with one transmitter at the same time so if that's 
something you wanted always to do, for example in a trailer or whatever, it works and the light function still works on the X4. So guys, my final conclusions. I hope now you know what you get if you buy the Dumbo RC X6P. This receiver you also can buy separately with or without gyro. The version I received with the set, 42 US dollar plus shipping, came without gyro. I, I assume the other version, you can choose two versions with and without gyro. Uh, if you buy the receiver separately, will come with gyro. Yes, it has a light controller, but this right light controller is not really capable. It has two light modes. One light mode, what you would call normal light mode. There is one pin for main beams, white LEDs, front lights. One place for rear lights, what are normally reverse lights. Those are not really brake lights. Uh, they they light up if you are going reverse, but not if you are braking. And then there are four double pins for hazard lights, two for right and two for left side. It comes with blue hazard lights. Mm, quite strange. It's nice to bind. You have this button here and you can bind the receiver without bind plug. And there's also a second light mode, the first pins work still on off with the three position switch but the second pins uh, won't the LEDs connected to those pins won't be lit up if you're going reverse but if you're going into front direction so you could do this too if you want so maybe main beams with on off switch and a second pair of main beams only if you're going to front or you're using the first uh, two pins for rear lights, whatever you want, and then you, there's room for four turning lights, right and left, two pairs each, and what's quite nice, a hazard light function, which can be controlled by the channel 3, this push button, as I already explained, would be much nicer if it would be vice versa, because not so many people will use those ha hazard lights. What's a really a bummer, uh, channel 5 and 6 control servos for shifting. I intended to do this, but the signal is not sufficient to control receiver switches, so you cannot use those for receiver switches, on off switches, or things like these. You can only use them for servo control, control of two servos, and the angle, the servo way is extremely reduced. It's only 38 degrees. Probably sufficient for some shifting work, but not for many other things you could do with servos. And you cannot program those channel 5 and 6. So now you know if the X6P is the transmitter, the radio you want. The other X6 Dumbo transmitters or radios are at least 10, 12, 14 bucks cheaper. You get a different kind of receiver and you will get turning knobs here and no push buttons. But those turning knobs are okay for many things so I don't know if that's the better solution. And the more this receiver you can get for 9 or 10 bucks including or not including a gyro. So if you buy one of the other Dumbo RC X6, you get a receiver and a radio transmitter and you can buy a second receiver and still paid less than if you would buy this one and with the receiver you also get all those LEDs that come with this kit. For me that's not a radio I will probably have a lot of use for. If you have a Traxxas DRX4 and want to shift first, second gear and lock unlock differentials, this could be a good radio and a cheap radio for you or for the new XL SX3 or for 
the Amiibi AMX ROG, but this does already come with this kind of transmitter and the icon or icon or whatever. But for all other people who want to tinker with their cars and want to make some special functions and not only shifting servos for shifting gears or locking unlocking differentials or digs, this radio is probably not the right choice. So that's it guys. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. I'll be back.